welcome back to the walkthrough. We are set up for doubles. So I think I am gonna go flop over to... 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 match play. Because why not? <laughs> I figured I'll show you her plus Grace. Yeah, I would love to. Oh, is that so? <laughs> well, actually, it'll, it'll be more difficult than uh, it'll be more difficult than uh, singles because, well, you know, the the whole doubles thing is kind of haphazard. So we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, that's Sherry sounded pretty confident, but uh, Grace knows better. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she remembers my first walkthrough and how I demolished her at her own club before. Uh, hmm. Yep, got the put remix of her theme song, and I'm just kind of looking at my options here. But I'm, I'm definitely better off playing down over there. So I'm just gonna do that. A little backspin to control her from going in the rough. And we are off to the races. Oh, oh shoot, that's on the slope. Well, well, I didn't start this part out well, did I? <laughs> oh, well, it should be all right. I mean, Sherry's going first, and well, her driving skills haven't really been working for her, have they? <laughs> uh, Grace, can you recover? Not with a miss hit like that. No, no. Well, let's see what Neil can do. I have I have more faith in Neil than those two right now, based on those first two hits. Although my my hit first hit wasn't all that good itself. Uh, this is going right at it. That looks sensational, actually. <laughs> that is as good as it gets, really. Well, besides the, besides the chip in or the well, pitch in, but. You don't really expect to do that from such a distance. And they're still not on and like even having a chance at oh jeez. At par, I was gonna say, oh. Oh, that was embarrassing. <laughs> Alright, I'm let's just let's just let them forget about this hole entirely. And move on to the next hole. And 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 Will Neil be able to put us in good position? Oh, well, that, actually, that'll be fine because it's gonna hit more to the right, and that's a better angle than towards the left. So, because you know the trees on the left side there. Even though we're in the rough, I think I'll be able to recover from that just fine. But will they be able to? <laughs> it seems like we're kind of repeating ourselves here. Um, well, oh, maybe I can't. That's, uh, it's kind of cutting down my power there quite a bit. And yeah, I can't hit dryer because that's, that's terrible out of the rough. So yeah, it looks like I'm not going to be able to reach the green in, ah, in regulation. I totally miss hit that because I'm not used to the timing of that. Uh, when it's all shrunk like that on the gauge, I just kind of lose the feel of it. But that is okay. It's as long as I keep my powers to the very end, it will be fine, and I don't think I'm going to lose that many powers, because I won't need that many power shots in, in doubles, because, well, especially with stuff like this, but, <laughs> but what I mean is that I won't need that many shots in doubles, because, you know, there's a partner going along with me, so, yeah, we, we got our own separate series of shots going on here. I should say a separate series of powers going on here too, in general. That should run out pretty good. Yeah, just get down to the, I was gonna say get down to the bottom of the slope, otherwise it'll be a tricky putt. See now, if that was my shot, I would have played past the hole, if anything. Because that, you know, it's got the flat area over there, but now that I'm over here, it's, it's kind of a dicey situation, but I'll see if I can make this. Uh, it's downhill, so it won't break as much. Oh, I missed. That is disappointing. <laughs> but yeah, it's kind of hard to predict on that much slope. And thus I'm not used to it. <laughs> but anyway, it's now back to even. Will it stay that way? Maybe. Maybe. 
Yeah, they're definitely a better doubles team than Joe and Putz were. But anyway, <laughs> I think any any double team is better than Joe and Putz were. Uh, miss hits are okay. This is a nice wide fairway landing. There we go. Even out drove him a little bit. Oh, bad lie though. I, just, I seen that there was a little bit of a depression that I was sitting in, but it might not make much of a difference. We'll see. Oh no. Well, that's not going to be good for them. Yeah, that's some thick stuff. And I'm going to hit... Uh, uh, yeah, I guess I can get a little bit more with the driver here. But yeah, that's, uh, that works. <laughs> that should work just fine. Uh, oh, actually, maybe a little too much. I hope those trees aren't in his way, but I don't think they are. Because I, I always look at... When I see trees on the overworld, I mean overhead map, uh, I always look at them as if I'm looking at the very trunk, because that seems to be about the way that they're situated. Uh, you know, in, in terms of the relation to where they are on the course, despite their curvature or whatever they look, because as you can tell, they're all, they're all basically curving in the same way. So, it, it, you know, it's just the way that the overhead map thingy looks and whatnot. Ooh, this is... I'm gonna have to chip this in, won't I? <laughs> and, and, and... Up, oh, and, and... Can I chip it? Well, close. Very close. I think they're gonna beat us. Yep. <laughs> that is okay. Uh, whoops, indeed, Neil. <laughs> we are behind one. That is quite an accomplishment, actually. <laughs> if you think about it. Anyway. And we're gonna hit down... Oh, what the heck? That's... I think the fairway is actually gonna be in their way. Like, that, that huge hump that's just going like nearly straight up. It's just gonna be... Well, maybe it's not gonna be in their way. We'll see. He's gonna hook this one in the bunker. Probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh! No, it buried. <laughs> That's not good. I, I won't be able to get on the green regulation now. Well, actually, there, there's my plug in that. No, it's not gonna plug in that bunker. It's just gonna go in the heavy drop. I guess this is not a good hole for either of us. <laughs> Can I push the limits here? Like, what, what could... I, like, I would not hit a 3-wood out of this in real life, but this is something that is possible in the game. Oh! <laughs> How well will this go, though? Nah, it's not gonna make it. Maybe I should have tried putting topspin on that, but... Yeah, I, I didn't really see it happening. But, ooh, that is a tiny impact area that's very scary to hit with. Okay, you're over the green, so you're probably gonna chip on and then bogey. So as long as Neil gets on somewhere decently, I will be able to get the putt for par and we're gonna win the hole. That is definitely something decent. <laughs> Can they chip it in though? That is the question. No, that's pretty close though. Just need to hit a little bit harder and it would have went in. But, but, nope, nope. We're back to square. <laughs> and, and, and... And... Oh, by the way, all square is a golf term saying... Well, I should say it's a sports term in general saying that everything is even. Ties game, stuff like that, yeah. <laughs> uh, that's alright, I guess. Because who knows what they're going to do. We might just end up both powering the hole. Who knows? What the... What the... It's like she changed the club before the shot, and then lost, like, dropped the power on the impact uh, power portion of the gauge, and I don't know, man. I don't know. Whoa, whoa, ho, ho, ho. Nice shot there. Because uh, I'm on the slope, I'm going to have to use a lot more power. <laughs> it looks like I'm using a lot of power here, but it's really not going to go that far. But an alternate way of doing this is just to take a club with a lower trajectory and play it at a more normal shot. But I think I'd like to do a wedge here. And I'm not gonna not gonna spin it or anything like that. This is gonna be a really high trajectory and the wind's in my face. So I'm just gonna roll out a little bit. Ooh, I flubbed that up. Mm. 
Well, come on, Neil, make the putt like I would. Yeah! <laughs> That'll do. That'll do. And two powers, all square. Still. <laughs> I'm going to hit this as hard as I can, like I did before in the tournaments, and see how it goes. With that crosswind of 9 mile per hour, I don't know if that's going to be an issue, and it is not. Because I just didn't want to go on that slope and leave him in an awkward situation, like he left me in the last hole. <laughs> But, yeah, that's not a factor here. Uh, that's also a good shot. But, will Sherry be able to make it on the green in regulation? Maybe. Uh, not, not when you miss hit both like that. No, that's... Oh, oh, hit the tree. <laughs> yeah, you can hit the the trunk of the, any tree in the game, and then it'll bounce back or to the side. Hiccup, excuse me. <laughs> or wherever, but... The thing about it is that when you're hitting, or at least trying to hit high over a tree, that generally will not happen because the leaves are up top and you're just going to get caught up in the trees a little bit and then it's just going to drop down in front of the trees. So it's not that risky of a shot as long as your shot is high enough if you're trying to hit over a tree. Uh, you know, as long as you don't get yourself stuck behind the tree, that is going to be alright. And I'm going to try and chip this in here. Uh, maybe a little bit too much to the left. Move a little more. more. Uh, still, no, it's too much right. Okay, that's good. And I'm just going to... A little backspin to control it a bit. Oh, mm, well, that's not what I was going for. <coughs> but, but, but... Well, they made their putts. So it's most likely going to be a tie here. Because, yeah... We're both, I mean, I was, I was in range, I got him within range, and she made the putts. So, yeah. Anyway, drive time. And a oh, little miss hits on both ends, but I think it's going to be fine. And, and, and... Hmm. Actually, it would have been better if I miss it more on the right side of the impact part portion of the gauge, but... And details. <laughs> He probably can still make the green in two, probably. That would be most ideal. Hmm. Hmm. At this rate, I think it's going to be a pretty long match, but I'm not going to cut off the match halfway through. We're going to play this to the end. <laughs> uh, nah, he can't make the green. Too difficult. Why did he change the impact marker if he wasn't going to change it on the actual swing? I don't understand. Oh, whatever. <laughs> well, that's gonna put us near the bunker, but not quite in the bunker. That is alright, because he wasn't gonna make it in regulation anyway, so... Eh. That was more my fault than anything, but I don't think it's, it's not really gonna matter here when they hit like that. Uh, as long as I get up to the flat portion, I'm pretty sure Neil can make the putt. How's the angle? Eh, a little bit more left. Yeah, I think that's going to be okay, because it's just going to drop and stop on its own without any sort of spin or anything like that. Yeah, there we go. Little run out. And it is on the flat portion. As long as he doesn't move the cursor, it should be fine. Ooh, near chip in there. But if she wouldn't have missed it on the gauge there, that probably would have been in. And there we go. Birdie time! Woo! And we're in the lead. <laughs> Um, 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 how close can I go? Maybe very close, because there's no wind. Uh, well, I miss it that little bit, so it might be shorter than I would like it to be. Yeah, that's not going to be very good. Mm -mm. I tried to thread the needle there, and it didn't pay off. Oh, whoa. Well, uh, that might go, um, yeah, out of bounds. That's a penalty of both distance and the stroke. <laughs> See, that beachy area there is actually out of bounds, so... Yeah! Um, yeah! <laughs> I guess my shot didn't mean all that much. I mean, I could have put myself anywhere around the green and Neil would just pop it on there or... Well, even chip it in. Yeah, that'll, that'll work. 
Oh wow, that, that was a disaster hole for them. Well, it happens in golf, I suppose. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I was just aiming at a tree there for a second. And, oh shoot, I, I just realized I changed the impact area there at the bottom right by mistake. Well, um, okay, it worked out, whatever. <laughs> Not gonna question it. Because even though that the line wasn't how it ended up, or, you know, just bit by the way it was set up, that's just, it turned out fine. So don't question it. <laughs> hmm, yeah, they're in good position too. They could potentially make birdie. Who knows? Uh, maybe that's what Neil did. He moved the cursor by mistake and then he, he didn't put it back. I don't know. <laughs> hmm. 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 That looks pretty good right there, especially since, yeah, they never seem to hit at maximum power, so. Uh, not when they do that, though. That's way off. Hmm, <laughs> well. Well, we're both at about the same position stroke-wise, so we'll see. I'll be able to get really close here because I'm on the flat spot without any sort of unpredictability going on here. Yeah, I'm just gonna drop and stop it, I guess, really close. Yeah, it looks perfect right there. And a little backspin just to control its landing. And... oh, yeah, when I said perfect, I meant perfect. <laughs> That is quite unfortunate for them, because that puts them three down now. And there's nine to play, that's pretty hard to catch up from in golf. Mm, that's alright, I guess. I would prefer to be more towards the left, because of the mouth in front of the green, but eh. Mm, eh. Mm, mm. <laughs> anyway, let's see what they do. <laughs> it looks like it's going straight for that tree! Oh, it bypassed it. <laughs> All is well. Hmm. Hmm. But, will this shot go well? That, no, no, not going well. And since I've got the shot towards the green, well, <laughs> you can pretty much imagine this is going to go probably pretty close. I mean, yeah, I do sometimes flub up shots, but not, not always, and most of the time I don't. I should say. <laughs> and there we go. It's kind of weird. On the, the trees on the 3D screen, they are, they're curved in a different way than on the overhead screen. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I think he'll be able to make that putt pretty well. Just as long as he doesn't have an itch on his head like I did, he should be fine with no distractions. Yeah, I just he just needs to nudge it a little bit over to the left a bit, and then he, the putt should drop. Ah, uh, he didn't nudge it at all, but it went in anyway. <laughs> That's all right with me, as long as the birdies keep on flowing. And... three wood. I'm just gonna hold it back here. And yeah, I'm not even gonna bother hitting full power on the gauge or changing the power impact thingy there to give myself an idea. I just know how I want to hit it, where I want to hit it, so that is where I'm gonna hit it. I didn't want to hit over hit it, didn't want to put, up, put us on the slope, or worse, in the water, because that's a one-stroke penalty and a cost of distance just behind the water as well, so yes, oh, oh, <laughs> I was half expecting that to plop in the heavy rough there, but it didn't, so they're in okay position. And that's not gonna make the green kneel, you've gotta hit it harder than that. Gotta put your heart and soul into your swings. <laughs> uh, well, judging from how they're playing now, they probably won't make the green, so I think we'll be just fine. Yeah, because we're gonna be on the green in one stroke under them. So, yeah, I'm gonna try and chip this in. <laughs> as long as I've got the feel of this sort of wind. Oh, so close! <laughs> yeah, that one didn't feel as perfect as the other one did, just by where the direction was and whatnot, but I didn't really feel like messing with it that much. 
Anyway, oh, they didn't get inside us, so they're up next for the putts. Bogey, but we've got the power for sure, because I don't think he's going to miss that, though. Two to win. Little puddles of water going on here, but given how easy this pin location is, it probably will not make much of a difference. <laughs> um, oh, shoot! I Oh, the impact marker. Xbox D-pad. Xbox D-pad. Well, it's still going to be all right. But, um... Yeah, uh, where the pin is, if it was more towards the right, that would have been a whole lot different. But when it's over there, it's a really, really easy hole. Um, if you're wondering why they change pins around on golf courses, it's because of green traffic. Like, when you have people walking around on a green, the most trafficked area is, of course, around the hole. And the more that they have... You know, the, the more people they have doing that around the hole on a constant basis, the more it strains the grass on the green, the key just keeps damaging it more and more, and it, it, they just have to keep changing the pin locations to somewhere that people aren't tracking. You know, you know, like they aren't going to be generally where they're going to be walking to. Like, you want to let the green recover between... Um, you know, the growth periods of the grass and stuff like that. So it's just a matter of strategic pin positioning to keep the course maintenance going nice and smooth. I mean, yeah, people are still going to accidentally hit where the pin location was on some other day. But, you know, the traffic j is just not going to be nearly as much as it would be if you would, you know, if you would have had a... Uh, the pin location is sitting in the same spot for weeks on end. <laughs> so, uh, is that going to be in front of the tree? No, it's not. Okay. It looks like it's just past the tree. Come on, Neil. Put us on the green. Uh, he looks a little confused there. Uh, that's not... No, that's not going to be on the green, but that's going to be an okay position. Well, actually, maybe not, because now I got, I, I got a tree in my way. Although, I think I can hit around it. It just with like curving it with a draw right to left stroke but we'll, we'll see when I get to my shot I might be prejudging my location too early here because you know you can't really tell exactly where you are on the overhead screen let's see oh no there is a tree in front of me <laughs> so what if I curve it right to left can I get away with that can I no how about I try left to right is that, is that better is that better? That looks better. I'm gonna hit it lower too, so it goes under the branches. So it's not gonna be a drop and stop. It's gonna be a roller. Oh, 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 no, no. Uh, I might have to go seven iron to get between the bend of the tree here. Cause yeah, see how the tree is going like that? It's, yeah, that's what I figured. So yeah, I wanna, maybe I'll go to an eight iron. I can get even closer than that, right? Can I get can I get closer? Yeah, I'll take that risk. And and I didn't quite hit that high. That actually did hit the tree. What the poop? <laughs> oh, whatever. If they get a point, they get a point. We're so far ahead, it doesn't matter that much. I just wanted to try and try and make a spectacular recovery shot, but I think Neil did a whole lot better than I did <laughs> from his position. Yes. <laughs> I got a little too greedy with it. Because remember I said that uh, the the line that you see isn't really where the ball is going to be going. It's just more of an estimation. Yeah, that blue moving line. Yeah, that that's basically what I was really pushing too much there when I was trying to hit around the tree. I should have just hit further to the left to get on the green and just hope that Neil make the putt. But, well, well, I failed. I just took too much of a risk. And this one looks risky, but it's actually not, because I'm just, I have so much of an impact and control area that even if I hit the tree, it's just going to go right to the fairway or in, in the mouth anyway. So, well, I, I didn't quite make it to the uh, fairway, but that's still alright. I just wanted to put him in good position to try and get, for, get a birdie, but yeah, it's just a matter of doing your best for your teammates on your turn, basically. And I did not do my best when I hit the tree on the last hole. 
But anyway, this looks pretty good. I might be able to just put that in. Uh, yeah, putting off the green is something that's good to do even in real life, just as long as you know when to do it. And, yeah, let's see here. Switch to the middle. I'm not gonna change the cursor or anything like that. I'm just gonna, just gonna hope for the best here. I'm gonna hit it pretty hard because I'm off the fairway. I mean, off the green. Oh, yeah! <laughs> I think if I hit it any harder than that, it would have bounced out. But... No need to worry, we won. <laughs> oh, that was a pretty long part. Maybe I should have split this up. Well, if I see a match getting long like that in the future, I'll split it up into two parts. But for now, because I said I wasn't going to, I'm not going to. <laughs> Just kind of go with my word here and level up Neil a little bit more there. He needs more help than I do. I will go for my drive distance, I think, and for him, I will go for straightening a shot and improving his impact and control so that he keeps everything peachy keen. Grace is out. She is ready to be played. New doubles match, Tiny and Azalea. And let's hear their words of resigning. Yep, we did! Uh, well, that'll definitely be for another time. But for now, we're just gonna read the rest of the dialogue here, and then end off the part. Oh yeah, definitely. Definitely. And uh, you'll notice that the dialogue is different here if you would have done the uh, tournament first, and then did the match, because then they would have said you beat us both. At, in the tournament and now in match play, but uh, no nope, different here. So it's it's really hard to see all the dialogue in the game like in a single playthrough because of that. Because you wouldn't really want me to stop like just do it in a reverse order just to get the other bit of dialogue, would you? That that's a lot of tedium, especially when I you and you know that I've got the match either way, and everyone's playthrough is going to be different anyway. So yeah, <laughs> so what I think I'm going to do is end off the part here, and I will see you in the next part when I do the tournament in my order. <laughs>